Hi, my name is Sharon, Customer Success Manager at My Web Audit. In this video, I'll be showing you how to personalize your reports to match your brand and audience. My Web Audit has extensive personalization and customization options. From email messages to CTAs, from logos to countdown timers, we've thought of it all. Just a few clicks and MWA can be customized to your liking. Our users appreciate all the ways they can make MWA look and feel like they built it themselves, and we think you will too. Let's start with adding a logo and company info to display on the reports. Our application allows you to white label your reports with your company information and branding. This is available on all of our plans. To add your logo and brand information to our app, go to settings from the audit dashboard and select white label branding. Fill out all the information including your company name, email, phone, website URL, title, company slogan, CTA link, and choose whether you want to display your company name or your website URL on the prepared by label in your reports. Here you can also upload your company logo. It is best to upload both the light and dark versions of your logo, as our logo placeholder background varies for each report. Next, we will set up a white label domain. The white label domain feature is only available to users on the agency plan. Once you sign up or upgrade to an agency plan, you will get access to the section right here. If you're on a trial, you'll have access to this feature since the trial provides you with all the features available on the agency plan. We've provided you with two white label options. The first is to use your own custom domain or subdomain, and the second is to use a subdomain under mywebaudit.com. To use your own custom domain or subdomain, click on this option and enter your domain or subdomain. Then simply click on the Save button at the top right-hand corner of this page. That's it. Now in your domain's DNS zone file, add a CNAME entry pointing your custom domain to whitelist.mywebaudit.com. Once completed, the white label domain configuration should reflect in your audit report links in less than 24 hours. To use a subdomain under mywebaudit.com, simply choose this option and enter your preferred unique subdomain. Then click on the Save button. That's it. Next, we will review how to change the report covers, font, and branding. To customize a report, go to your audit dashboard and select the report you want to customize. Hover over the Edit drop-down and choose Customize Reports. Choose from our beautifully designed report covers on the left menu bar. You can also change the fonts and branding to your report by clicking on the cogwheel icon here. Don't forget to click on the Save button. Every change you'll make in this method will only reflect on the specific report you choose from your audit dashboard. If you want to apply the changes to all the future reports, you'll need to make these changes on the report template. You can do that using the Report Builder. Let me show you how. On your audit dashboard, go to Report Builder. Choose which type of report you'd like to customize by clicking on the Customize button. Once you've completed your changes, Everything you did here will be applied to all your reports in this type of report moving forward. Now let me show you how you can customize any audit points you'd like and even add your own. Our application allows you to extend our base reports with new audit points you may use in your agency. To add a new audit point to your reports, go to your report builder and click Manage Audit Points. Here you can customize your existing audit points, audit categories, and add new audit points. To add a new audit point, go to the Add New Audit Point tab and fill out the fields. Name your audit point. Choose which category it will go to. Add an extension hint. Choose what level of impact this audit will have on your report. Write a description about this new audit. Add recommendation action. Add a few sentences for the Learn More section. When you have all of them filled out, hit on the Save button. Now all you have to do is to add this new audit point to your report. Go back to Report Builder and click on the Customize button of the report you want to modify. On the left sidebar, click on Hidden Audit Points and locate your newly added audit point. Then click on the eye icon next to your audit point to add it to your report and click on the Save button. Now if you want to customize your audit points, there are several ways to do that. One is by clicking on this Edit button directly to any reports, but if you need to modify an audit point for all your reports, You'll have to do it using the Report Builder. Another easy way is by going to Report Builder. 
Manage Audit Points. Then go to Configure Audit Category and Points. Here you can show or hide an audit point, change the impact rating, duplicate, delete and edit the details of all default and custom audit points. Cool, right? Finally, I'll show you how to customize the calls to action in our app. To change the call to action on your audit reports, you need to go to Report Builder. Then click on Consultation CTAs. Here you'll see the list of default CTAs we prepared. You can modify them all and you can also add your own custom CTA if you need to. Just click on the New CTA button and fill out the fields. If you only need to modify the existing ones, simply click on the Edit button and apply the changes you need. So what's next after this? Go to a report you'd like to customize by following the same steps we did earlier, then scroll down to the bottom of the page to go to the CTA section. Click on the Select CTA button and choose the CTA you'd like to use for this particular report. Easy, right? Put these changes in place and MWA will feel less like just an app and more like your app.